हेलो एवरी वन द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेयर इज स्ट्रम सीक्वेंस सो वॉट इज स्ट्रम सीक्वेंस इट इज़ अ न्यूमेरिकल टेक्निक विच इज़ यूज टू फाइंड द नंबर इट इज़ यूज टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ रियल एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स रूट्स ऑफ अ इक्वेशन इट डज नॉट टेल एस अबाउट द रूट्स वॉट आर द रूट्स बट इट टेल अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ रूट्स दट अ इक्वेशन हैज सो बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू टीच स्ट्रम सीक्वेंस बाई यूजिंग अ एग्जाम्पल सो द क्वेश्चन इज to find the number of real and complex roots of the equation this fx equal to 4x power 4 plus 2x square minus 1 equal to a 0 using strum sequence so i will teach you here the steps that we require to find out the solution to a given equation uh, roots of a number of roots of a given equation by using strum sequence so let us first write the, we have the equation fx equal to a 4x power 4 plus 2x square minus 1 now the first step is to find a f dash x we will differentiate this equation with to x so we will get Uh, when we differentiate this equation, we will get 16x cube plus 4x. I hope you can do this by yourselves. Now we will take anything common, any constant that is common, we will take it out. Uh, like here, there is 4 is common, so the equation becomes 4x cube plus x. Now we will uh, cancel this 4 and give it the name f1x. So f1x becomes 4x cube plus x. Uh, so I hope there is clear. It's everything. Now the next step, we find f2x. So f2x will be minus. remainder of fx upon f1x we will find the remainder of fx upon f1x and then negative it so minus remainder of here fx was this 4x power 4 upon this and f1x was this so we will find the remainder and negate it the remainder i have solved here for you you can find it by yourselves the remainder comes here x square minus 1 and negating it we will get remainder is x square now uh, negating it and uh, remainder is x square minus 1 now f2x will be negative of this remainder so here f i have found f2x for here f2x is 1 minus x square that is negative of x square minus 1 now the next step is again repeat the same step f3x equals to minus of remainder of now f1x upon f2x here i have done uh, fx upon f1x now here i will do Uh, f one x one f two x so the same step will be repeated again the f three will be f three x will be become minus of five x so we will do this uh, these steps till we will get a constant so in the next step f four x will find minus of remainder of f two x one f three x so here we will obtain the constant value that is minus one so we will stop here so till here it is I hope it is clear the uh, now the the next step is we will make a table I have make, already made a table for you so what we will have in table we will have the x We have f x, f one x, f two x. Still, we get a constant result. So for I have done it four times. So I have written it till f four x and v x. It is only degree of freedom. So I will mark some points. Uh, you can mark any points by yourself. You know, uh, like minus two, minus one, minus three, minus ten. But for simplicity, I have taken these points. We have taken minus infinity, minus one, zero, one, and plus infinity, to uh, because it makes it simple to calculate uh, the value of expressions. So. Uh, we will find the value of f x at minus infinity. So when we put minus infinity in the f x, we will get a positive value. We have to only check signs here. What is what we are getting the sign of f x when x is minus infinity? So we we are getting positive sign. Here I am getting negative sign when I put f when I put minus infinity in f one x. So f one x is here. When we put minus infinity, we get a negative value. So simply we, I have filled all the table. In case we are getting zero. Uh, we we put the sign of the previous value like here we are getting zero when we put minus one in f two x we are getting zero but the sign will be the previous sign like this minus will be replaced by this so uh, we can fill all the table like this now here how to find the degree of freedom it is it can be found by uh, simple technique now uh, uh, the three I will tell you how the three has come here first it is a positive sign uh, from positive we are getting a negative sign so one Uh, from negative we are getting plus so 2 and positive so it is the number of times the uh, sign has changed here three times the sign has changed like uh, one time second time and the third time so it three here it's one time two time and three times so again three and uh, we can find out similarly for all these so we have degree of freedoms now what we will do we will subtract the two consecutive we get zero we will get one we will get one and we will get zero Now we will all add all these degree of freedoms like zero plus one plus one plus zero. So what we are getting is two. So two is the number of real roots here. And to find the imaginary roots of the equation, the equation f x has degree four. So there are four roots. But uh, the strum sequence tells us about only about the real roots that we are getting. Two real roots. So uh, four minus two is two. That is two imaginary roots of the equation. Hence uh, the method is simple. I hope you understand it properly. and uh, thank you for watching it thanks